Hey everyone, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel. Hope y'all having a good day. I am going to be making this card. It was a little bit of a mess here and there. It was a little bit of work. I'm not going to lie, but I wanted to create a card using this newest stamp set from Mama Elephant. I hadn't inked it up yet and I, I had an idea um, and card, I guess, layout in my mind and I wanted to create that for you guys today. So first off, what I am doing is I'm creating a DIY mask, if you will, and I'm just taking one of my oval um, dies here that I have from Stampin' Up. This is one of my first, I guess, die sets that I bought as far as the shapes go. And I really, really do like this one. And so I created a half circle, uh, essentially, and I'm going to put this at the bottom of my piece of my watercolor cardstock that I'm using the Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock today. And we're going to be doing some uh, ink blending. I am uh, essentially going to do the bottom because I'm creating like a crater um, or something like a crater ground, if you will. So if you've not seen my tutorial before on um, how to create a galaxy, I did this for my 2000 subscriber video. And if you have not seen that video per se, not, of course the giveaways and stuff are obviously closed now. But if you'd like to see that video, um, I will link that below or put it in the cards so, so, so you can go ahead and click on that and see that for yourself. So, but it's basically the same tutorial as far as the colors and stuff. I did add, I did switch up one of the colors. I do have a lighter blue in this galaxy um, color range than I did before. I had a little bit of a darker blue and I really do like how um, this one turned out uh, as well. So. Um, I do have the picked raspberry and the mustard seed like before, but this time I have salty ocean. And it, like I said, if you have not seen that video, previous video, um, on these galaxy, um, tutorials or, um, designs, I will have learned that you don't have to necessarily be perfect at it. Um, you just kind of lay down color anywhere and everywhere. Um, it's kind of random and that's what's so fun about it is that you don't have to be perfect with this. So Right now, it looks like a really colorful hot mess, more or less. But once you start adding the black, and then once you start really blending the colors all together, it really does start to come together and really look like a really neat um, galaxy background. And then once we get all of our uh, ink blending to done, um, what really is the star of the show, no pun intended, is the stars. And whenever we get to that part, you will see how magical this really turns out to be and how it just really comes together so quickly. So, and of course, once these inks dry um, and they kind of spread out, um, they kind of blend into each other and it, you know, it really does come together really, really nicely. So um, I'm really adding the black soot here and it is scary at first if you've never done this. When I really did this the very, very first time off camera, um, a, couple, a couple of months back, um, it was kind of scary because I didn't want, you know, even though I'm crafting and that's what crafting is about to try and experiment, um, I was not sure of how it would turn out. So, um, anyway, so I've got all the ink blending that I'm going to do. Um, what I didn't do before in that first video was add some ink swatches or not ink swatches, some water droplets. And so I did that on this one and it kind of added to the background, which I really, really do like. And now I'm going to go ahead and add my white pigment ink here or it's my it's the dilution spray is what I'm using and all you need to do is get a paintbrush if you've got an old paintbrush that's fine this is one that I had that I acquired from my dentist office or you can obviously just go buy a really cheap uh, toothbrush and this is what this is and it really does help put on that look of the stars on the background it really um, it's actually really really fun if you've never done this and it's just a genius way I think I, the original idea is not mine so I can't take credit for it but it is a really a lot of fun especially whenever you see it all coming together so I'm just kind of dabbing on the ink onto my toothbrush there and you see how well and how just how cool it just turns out right before your eyes it's really really fun and actually it's one of those things that gives you instant gratification I think so um so now I'm trying to add um bigger more or less bigger splotches of ink here and I got really one of the big blob but that's okay uh, obviously it ties into the background which I'm thankful for because I would have been really really mad otherwise but 
so I'm not going to go ahead and put that aside to dry and we're going to go work on our bears here and um, I essentially decided what I was going to do just one bear and then I decided to go ahead and stamp out two so um, because it was going to be such a really big background just for one bear I felt so the overall look better looked better with two bears so that's what I went ahead and did um, I am going to do just a, some basic Copic coloring here. If you watched my channel before, I've said it before, where I'm nowhere near a professional or an expert at color uh, coloring with Copics. I just kind of do, a, you know, and just color for fun. I, I would like to expand on my skill here, but um, that's kind of hard from where I live. I don't, they don't have offer stuff like that as far as Copic coloring classes or anything like that, which is just fine. You know, I mean, you could do watch videos and stuff, but I'm a little bit more of a hands-on, you know, sitting in the classroom kind of thing if I was going to learn something, but you know, um, but that's no here or there. <laughs> um, I am just coloring it just for fun and just kind of picking up, um, different um, color combinations as I do watch different videos that so that helps too um, as I was coloring my bear I, you saw the colors that I chose um, three different uh, color browns of course and of course I will have all of them listed below in the description bar uh, for the supplies of what I used but as I was coloring um, it started out really good and then whenever I went to his um, uh, tummy um, his little tummy area um, I really wanted a light color. I don't have, I need to expand on my colors of Copics as far as uh, some of my browns. I don't have a whole lot of light, light browns and I need to get some, some really, really bad. So if I'm going to be doing images like this, I need to, but I did, you know, um, uh, take, you know, I did, what am I trying to say? Um, compensate for that in a way and you'll see that here just in a second I'm going to go ahead and lay all the colors down that I want to put in here I wanted to get a little bit of a shadow um, as much as I could and then once I was done with that it looks like that you know what was the point of whole you know coloring it the way you did if it was it's going to be all the same color looking bare but I promise you like I said I did compensate for it and I'm just getting some of the darker colors down and some of the shading that I want to put down and then what I'm going to do is take my colorless blender here and I'm just going to very quickly and very lightly go around some of this coloring that I did and it will that that's essentially what the colorless blender does. It takes a you know more or less takes away some of that color. So as you can see I kind of messily and sloppily did that really really fast and it does kind of look like kind of splotchy but as it dries it will kind of even out. And it really does, um, you know, come out really, really well. So you can see on camera there how well it made it light. And and then uh, off camera, I went ahead and colored off my, um, colored my other bear the exact, exact same way. I did make the other bear just a slight, slight darker on his body. But other than that, I didn't change any colors or anything. And I did go ahead and colored um, a little bitty flag to just to add to the scene here. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking, I took off that mask and I'm taking the rest of my typing paper that I cut from before and I'm putting the other side of that mask onto my card, card panel here and I'm going to create my background or my ground um, with my, some of some brown, some walnut stain and uh, I believe this is antique linen and I'm creating my ground here and I'm sponging that on and I want it to be over you know overly um, all over I want it to be light but then I wanted to add some darker shading at the very top so I'm taking that walnut stain and taking a finger dauber here and just sponging that on around the, just around the edges here just to get a little bit of um, contrast and dimension to the ground of course this is in space so you know it's supposed to look kind of splotchy and kind of bumpy kind of kind of give it that illusion that it is um, ground uh, I mean like uh, rock and um, mud that kind of thing so trying to make it as realistic as I can so um, so whenever I take off my mask here you will see that I have just a little bit of a slight gap in between my sky or my space sky I guess you'd say and then my ground no big deal um, all you have to do is just really take your um, sponge dauber or ink blending tool and <clears throat> I'm taking all the rest of that adhesive off is what I'm doing there but um, all you got to do is just kind of work with it and I added a little bit more black soot around the edge and it's, um, 
after a while you really don't notice it all that much it just kind of adds to the seam a little bit so I went ahead and die cut the panel with a stitched rectangle just to give it a little bit of a decorative edge and then I'm going to go ahead and add my bears to my seam I just um, put some adhesive glue adhesive onto that bear that's sitting on the ground and then put some foam adhesive on the one that's in the little uh, space there and then I'm just adding some little bit of uh, Tama Mono to the little flag so I got the main uh, all of my colored images onto my panel now so what now what we're going to do is work on oh I was going to go ahead and stamp there's this um, little image in there these little element images in there in the stamp set where it adds a little bit of texture to the ground and I kind of want to incorporate that somehow too so that's what I'm doing here I'm just going to apply that to my block here and then I'm going to take the walnut stain um, distress ink that I was I just had it on my desk since and it was a good color so I went ahead and just stamped down some of this um, around uh, this area here just to give it a little bit more texture and give it just a little bit more realistic look to it and it really does add to it and it made it a little bit better and a little bit more finished if you will so I'm going to go ahead and finish stamping that out and then once I'm done with that it's time to work on our sentiment so like I said in the beginning of the video, I kind of had some difficulty putting this card together. If it was one thing or another, I did edit out a lot about a lot of the stuff that was happening because this was video I knew it was going to be long anyway. So you see, I initially wanted to have a white sentiment on the bottom here, but as that dried down, it didn't look good and you really couldn't see it because of course the sentiment is so small and so detailed. So I went ahead and took some black cardstock, uh, just um, some scrap that I had. And now I'm going to go ahead and um, stamp this down with some Versamark ink and I'm going to emboss this with my Hero Arts white pigment or <laughs> white pigment. I've got pigment ink on the brain, I guess you guys. Um, some white embossing powder. So I'm going to go ahead and emboss that. And then I'm going to do is just cut them out, just simply just cut around the sentiment and then add those to the bottom. And it really does help uh, help the sentiment stand out for one and two it covered up my I, I guess I'll call it a boo-boo but um, it really does help um, bring out that sentiment just a little bit more so um, the card is essentially pretty much done here all I'm going to do is just add this to my card base I've just got a white um, top folding card which is from uh, made out of my favorite white card stock which is the paper tray ink stamper select um, and then I'm just going to add some glue here, some Tama Mono, which will give me just a little bit more wiggle, wiggle room to put this onto my card base. And I decided uh, that essentially I wanted to put some glossy accents around the, the bear's um, little helmets there. But I decided not to this, time, this go around and just leave it the way it was. So that is our card for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you did, go ahead and please give it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And I will catch you on my next video. Thanks for watching.